What dinosaur do you reckon you could outrun? I don't know, one of those little compy things, I think I could do that. I can't run very fast, so... One of the most pervasive criticisms of the film Jurassic World, other than that it was, you know, a bit shit, is that Bryce Dallas Howard's character never takes off her high heels throughout pretty much the entire thing. As it turns out, the producers thought this was kind of stupid too, and only left them in the film at the direct insistence of Bryce Dallas Howard herself. I'm assuming most people have seen Jurassic World. Yeah, it made like a billion dollars at the box office, which doesn't mean it didn't suck ass. Almost every scene Bryce Dallas Howard's character, Claire Deering, appears in, she's wearing these like, like Colgate white, like catwalk ready heels, including in a scene, which is the one that most people make fun of, where she outruns 14 tons of dinosaur while holding a flare. And I think like that scene has been broken down and made fun of a lot. And I think like one of the defences of it is the dinosaur's not chasing her. It's following the flare because it's the dinosaur from the first one. Hence the scratches on its face that you can see. Because that's when it had the fight with the raptor. But even still, just the image of a woman in high heels out running like an ancient apex predator, like it isn't even shit is so fucking ridiculous. Bear in mind in the first film, that thing catches up with a speeding Jeep. And then you've got Bryce Dallas Howard in like five inch heels, just like, just raged, like T-1000ing her way away from this thing while carrying a thing it is trained to follow and eat. And obviously it was rightfully mocked by almost every single person who watched the film, including a lot of critics who don't often pick up on little things like that as like criticisms for a film. It's usually like broader things that they like, you know, mention. But yeah, the high heels were just that egregious an inclusion in the film. That even like in the New York Times and shit, like, it's kind of silly that she's wearing these high heels. Yeah, as soon as the dinosaurs escaped, you'll be switching to better clothing in general. Well, they have a scene in that movie where she gets, like, you know, more jungle ready. And originally as well, this is a fun fact, people who might not know, and there's even a deleted scene where she, um, like, sensually covers herself in dinosaur shit. Are you aware of this? No. No, there's a deleted scene from Jurassic World, which you're going to put in, where Bryce Dallas Howard, like, you know, to mask her scent, because obviously she's wearing perfume, and it's pointed out by Chris Pratt that, like, the dinosaurs can smell this, it's weird, they'll come investigate it, and she covers herself in dinosaur shit. But they film it in such a way that it's supposed to be sexy, and you get like this like really like lingering like creep shot that's basically one step removed from having like saxophone music over the top of it or just rubbing dinosaur shit into herself as Chris Pratt looks on going, yeah. <laughs> Understandably, that scene was cut for being stupid, but the scene that remains in the film is the one of Bryce Dallas Howard, like, specifically going out of her way to make it easier to walk through the jungle, and she still leaves on the high heels. Wasn't there a shot in the second one where they addressed the fact that she was, like, wasn't going to be wearing heels? Yeah, like, she wears heels for a bit in the second one, but then they have, a, like, a scene where she steps out of a car or some shit, and it zooms right in on her feet and shows you when appropriate footwear this time, or as appropriate as footwear can be, for tracking fucking dinosaurs. I don't think they have that section in Regatta Outdoors, do they? Like, the section like, you got walking, hiking, dinosaur stalking. So, well, better. Better because of the dinosaur stalking section, I suppose. You want to be wearing Crocs? I'll see myself. <laughs> so, why was she wearing the heels? Like, you said she insisted on it herself. She did. The producers of Jurassic World, when they heard that Bryce Dallas Howard wanted to wear heels throughout the entire movie, like, they audibly groaned, like, for fuck's sake. And like they did that thing, like, they rubbed the bridge of a nose, going, look, um, Miss uh, Dallas Howard, um, we respect, like, you know, your creative decision there, but it's kind of fucking stupid. Like, no one's going to believe that you can outrun a T-Rex in, like, heels. Like, please consider wearing some more appropriate footwear for these scenes. And, like, you can find the quote from Dallas Howard herself, where she says, like, no, these, like, these heels are important, so, like, you know, the character of Claire. It was hard for me to be Claire without those heels because right. that had, 
it was like her armor, you know, it, it was it, it was her strength. The well fleshed out character of Claire Deering, the character I'm gonna guess, like, I could make up a name for that character and people won't fucking correct me because no one remembers who the hell it is. Yeah, the fact that you just said Claire Deering, just that name has no resonance at all. Yeah, that's the thing, like, you don't even know if that's the right name. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure you made that surname up. I right? had to look it up. Really? I don't remember. Do you, know, do you know what name I do remember though? Alan fucking Grant, that's besides the point. The producer said, okay, like Miss Dallas, I would, like, if you want to do this, you're gonna have to go do some specialist stunt training for like to run around in high heels, which is apparently a thing that exists, which she did go do for several months because they were genuinely worried she'd just fall on her ass and injure herself. So like, everything you see her doing heels in that movie, she did actually do. She did run away from like you know a fake dinosaur, which is amazing considering how much it was made fun of. Like people saying, oh, it's unrealistic, it's crazy, but she actually did do it all for real. And she actually had specialised training to ensure that everything you see her do in high heels is a thing a person could reasonably be expected to do in those heels if they wore them all the fucking time, as her character supposedly does. <laughs> Although it's easy to make fun of the character for trying to run away from a dinosaur wearing high heels, I respect, like, you know, the commitment to making life a little bit harder for yourself. Like, she woke up that morning and said, I'm going to play this day on hard mode. Like, she, like the only way she could have made it more difficult to outrun that dinosaur is if she was wearing like Lady Gaga's meat dress at the same time. Is there more inappropriate like footwear or clothing Bryce Dallas Howard could have worn throughout this movie for outrunning all these dinosaurs? It's like high heels are bad, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Maybe platform shoes. I mean, maybe if like maybe it's like wet 80s day at like you know Jurassic Park and she rocks up in like platform shoes and flares with the big comedy afro. I reckon for that particular scene of the Rex, uh, studded football shoes. Oh, man, running on running on concrete with them is a hassle. No, um, uh, ice skates. <laughs> so she's got to do that like really awkward ice skate walk where you've got to walk. <laughs> Let's just stop it there though because we're thinking too small and I'm just going to put a scenario out there for you and the audience at home. Imagine, if you will, that Bryce Dallas Howard, in that scene where she's outrunning the T-Rex, was wearing one of those big, dumb, inflatable dinosaur costumes. Would that have been more or less ridiculous? Because I'm pretty sure there are a lot of videos out there of people doing like backflips and shit in those costumes. Like, there seems to be like a lot of freedom of movement while wearing those things. That's the thing, like, you'd say, oh, it would draw you out of the movie any more than her doing that shit in high heels. I imagine if they were that, like, they knew that much there was going to be a terrible film, they just did something like that. Well, they probably should have done. There's so much dumb stuff in that movie already, like the guy who saves like his two margaritas. Do you not know what I'm talking about with that? Did you not see the memes? No. Okay, well you can put the clip in for the audience home in case they also missed it, but do you know when all the giant flying dinosaurs attack Main Street? Yeah. There was a guy in like the bottom left, I think it is, who like, instead of running to safety, goes up and picks up two margaritas and then runs away with them. And it was like, he's the true hero of the movie. They probably cost $14 each. He's getting his fucking money's worth. <laughs> because all the people like grabbing their children and picking up and running up, and one guy just gets up two fucking drinks. Like, that's me. So if I had to pay fucking fourteen dollars for it, I'm getting two of those bastards. I respect that dude. <laughs> the guy who picks me is like, you know what? Cost me money. I'm taking it. Hero. Hero. I think your priorities are a little bit off there. Hero. <laughs> <laughs> so all the running, all of the jumping around, she did that for real in heels. Yes, it's all real, which is amusing to me because that means the most realistic part of those movies is the fact that she's running around in high heels which when it was simultaneously criticised as being the most unrealistic part of the movies <laughs> because apparently none of the critics of that movie including myself bothered to do any fucking research before they made fun of that I'd love it if that scene where she smears the shit all over herself was them getting revenge they didn't want it to go in the film they only put it in there so they could film a rubbing shit all over her skin oh, it turns out it's actual real poo so it's, it's important for realism. Like, you know how much you, know you insisted on realism, Dallas Howard? <laughs> Rub that shit into yourself. And there's no even, not even film in the camera. <laughs> Kept bringing her back in for reshoots. Like, oh, sorry, between, that's why between scenes, she randomly gets covered in shit. It's great. I love plot holes like that. Oh, Jurassic Park movies never stop sucking ass, except for the first one. So I don't know about you, Brad, but I just want to talk more about Jurassic Park, and specifically the first one, aka, the best one. 
Because, God, that's such a good fucking movie, isn't it? It's so good. It is. Like, oh, who's your favourite character in it? Because there's so many memorable ones. I like John Hammond. You like John Hammond? Like, yeah. The John Hammond, the arsehole that is John Hammond. Yeah, did you get that as well? Like, if you re on rewatches, John Hammond becomes more and more of an asshole when you realise he's not a kindly old grandfather man. He is a huge, like, dick to everybody around him. But that's one of the reasons I love that first Jurassic Park movie. Because if you rewatch it, like, you realise that, like, a lot of the characters, there's more depth to them than you expect. Like the John Hammond one especially, where on rewatches you realise, like, no, he didn't spare no expense because why would Dennis Nidra be complaining about having no money? Why has he only got one IT guy? Why is, like, the system to stop the dinosaurs getting out reliant on, like, pulling a switch that is an unprotected part of the park, like, four and a half miles away? Why is there only one guy who has a gun that can kill the dinosaurs? And that goes hand in hand, like, in the books that the Michael Crichton novel like, it's based on. Like, John Hammond is an asshole. Yeah. And the spared no expense line is a joke. Like, he says it, like, basically to take the piss because he, he takes shortcuts all the time. And one of the fan theories I personally ascribe to is that John Hammond is, like, a charlatan, a huckster. And the only reason he invites Alan Grant to the park is because he knows his dinosaurs aren't real and he wants to fool, like, you know, a respected, like, you know, expert on them. Because, like, there's that um, line that Dr. Wu makes in um, Jurassic World, which says, yeah. these dinosaurs don't look anything like dinosaurs. And the theory is that the dinosaurs you see in the park are, like, the best guess that the scientists, like, Hammond had could make, given, like, you know, the DNA they had. And it's just cobbled together monstrosities. Mm. One of the pieces of supporting evidence for that is that, you know, his, like, his cane, his famous cane with, like, the little um, the beetle animal, in it. Yeah. Um, the mosquito in there isn't the mosquito that sucks blood. Oh. Yeah, and obviously you can say that's a filmmaking error, but I like to think, no, Jurassic Park made no mistakes. That's intentional, and it's there for, obviously for Hammond to test people. So if no one calls him on that, no one's going to call him on the fact that dinosaurs don't like dinosaurs. Yeah, I think um, I, th I read a theory that it was that they didn't have any dinosaur DNA at all. No, it's they all... just genetically engineered things that looked like what we thought dinosaurs looked like. Yeah, and that's why he invites Dr. Alan Grant, the most respected paleontologist on Earth, because if he can convince him that they're real dinosaurs, no one else is going to call him on it. Yeah, I really like that theory that, that John Hammond is just a secret asshole and that the dinosaurs aren't real. And they make reference to it in like Jurassic World. It's like, oh no, um, we basically butchered the DNA we had. And I think that elevates that first film from, like, you know, an amazing blockbuster to what I would consider like art. It's interesting as well to look at the fact that in every other film following the first one, even though his park failed, mm -hmm. John Hammond is idolised. Like, do they, have, do they have a statue of him, I think, in... Jurassic World. Yeah, and then they have a painting of him in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in like his mate's house. And they Even talk like, about him like he's this like, like genius, and this, yeah. uh, this heroic man who did this great thing. Even though he didn't actually have anything to do with anything because he was just the money man. Mm. And yet somehow he's credited with like, you know, the re like introduction of dinosaurs. And it was actually Dr. Wu. People always forget that. It's Dr. Wu who like came up with the technology to do it. Hammond just gave him the money. Yeah. And that's, I think that, like, again, it plays into the idea that he's actually just like, you know, a glory-seeking dickhead who's all about number one. That he made it all about him and he took basically the discovery of this scientist and made everyone think he did it. And that makes the film so much more interesting to watch because like, obviously you can watch it as a blockbuster. You can just watch like, the wonderment of seeing dinosaurs. Like, it's, it's an amazingly well put together film with like, great performances. And also... Like, I'm going to hope that there's some people out there now who never thought of it like that can go back and re-watch it and look for these things mm -hmm. and like see the little like the, the hints of like Hammond being a dickhead and go, man, that's... Carl's got a point. Hammond is an asshole. Why does everyone like this dude? And it's because he's so charismatic. And I think any movie where you can do that, where you can deconstruct it to such an extent and basically change the way you see it is a fucking fantastic movie. And I don't think you can do that with Jurassic World because it's obviously just a soulless, tashing sequel that was like, oh, look, dinosaurs! And the only interesting part of it is that single line from Doctor Wu because it makes the original Jurassic Park more interesting. Get fucked, Jurassic World. <laughs> <laughs>